So we're back in New Baltimore, Michigan, and the um, the project was going along great, but ran into a snag. We didn't have a pump. Then we ran into another snag. Um, we brought the water level up to the uh, the proper height in the pond, and overnight the water leaked out. We didn't even have a pump installed, so we know it's not in the stream. But we had the homeowner fill it back up again, and the water again went back down. I'll turn the camera around, I'll show you what's going on, and then I'll tell you what we're gonna do. All right, so the water level in the pond, as you can see, is not our typical. We like to have it about three inches lower than a neighboring patio, but that water level should be about maybe four inches down on those rocks there. Um, we're scratching our heads to see what happened. So what we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna mark that water level that's there now, and then we're gonna go to work trying to find a hole in that liner because what else could it be? No waterfall running, so that's nothing leaking out of the stream. We've gotta get to the bottom of it, or hopefully the side of it on the side of the wall of the pond, no pun intended, but that's what we gotta do. Let's get to it. Okay, so uh, we've drained out the water. Where we suspected was where the large boulder was, but we investigated behind the liner. We investigated on the pond side of the liner, really found no evidence of a leak there, no hole in the liner at all. But we came back to the front side of the skimmer and I'll let Brian explain that to you. What we have going on is the faceplate was attached here got the screws everything's in water level you can see the water line kind of it's about right here follow it this way and right here where this third screw down second screw up is behind the liner notice that the soil down in there there's a lot of water down there. Unfortunately, we are gonna have to peel the faceplate off. We removed all the boulders in front, so that's already done. Um, you're gonna have to pull that off, redo the silicone seal, reattach it. Rebuild everything as far as putting the boulders back in. Bring the water level back up, fill it up. It's gotta wait 24 hours with it full, and hopefully that will be the issue. Uh, sometimes these things unfortunately happen. Not sure exactly why if it was you know installer error or what but not perfect all the time 99% of the time but not 100% of the time <laughs> um, so yeah that's what we're gonna do get the faceplate off reseal it put it back together and uh, go from there okay so an update in the field and we're gonna show you what we found it's time to be honest put our cards on the table I'm gonna let Brian explain what happened because Brian was the one that installed the skimmer, wow. did the attachments, and you know what, we're human. I'm gonna let him explain what happened. Here you have your holes where the screws went through. There's screw head here, 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 here. These are patches over the screw holes that were there. What happened was, is when we tightened the screws originally, we used a drill. When the screw went through the liner, it pulled, it grabbed the liner. And, and it wound it, the liner wrapped around the screw and creates not this size hole, but this size hole. 
that apparently silicone did not plug up. Correct. New rule that is going in place as of today, no power tools when attaching skimmer faceplate. What about biofalls? Same thing. If it's going to happen here, it can happen up there. Okay. Still putting screws through face the faceplate, attaching the liner, and I'd rather it not happen again. I'm pretty sure in the directions it says to do it by hand. Pretty sure it does also. I, you know, sometimes you get lazy and, uh, you know, want to get things done quicker and quicker is not always better. Lesson learned, no more power tools. We're going to seal this one up. We're going to fill it up with water. We're going to wait 24 hours. We'll show you our results. Welcome back. Got the faceplate reattached, fresh silicone on there. Hopefully that, uh, hopefully that's the issue. Um, now it's just time to put it all back together, make it look pretty again. Alrighty, the pond is all filled up and uh, as you can hear in the background it's up and running. I'll turn the camera around show you actually what this waterfall looks like. Uh, to sum up this video, we probably went a little bit too fast as Brian noted and using a power tool uh, which is a no-no for when you're attaching the skimmer faceplate. Um, you want to do that by hand so that way you don't end up with, uh, with a leak. So we've patched that. We've um, filled up the pond. Let me turn the camera around. I'll show you uh, what this waterfall actually looks like on this pond. Small six by eight pond with a cascading waterfall. It's got three drops in it. Using the Aquascape ecosystem pond components, biological filtration on one end, skimmer on the other end, rocks and gravel in the stream. It's a nice backyard ecosystem. If you have any comments, leave them in the uh, comment section below. So thanks for watching our video and we'll catch you on the next one. Make it a great day.